the most important is understanding, not uh, remembering uh, things or events. Or I think that it's time to listen to the words of the Buddha instead of thinking about what we have thought about before. For example, the Buddha's word must be very, very deep and subtle. It needs time again and again to consider because he just thought about everything which appears at this very moment. Even about sanya, see, the word sanya is pali term, which is the memory or that which marks now. Only that which can experience can mark, right? Can know, can remember. But the reality which cannot experience at all cannot have such qualities. That's why right now, in a moment, only just a moment, there's no understanding of that moment at all. We just talk about words like that which experiences and that which cannot experience. So each word should be considered, is there anything which cannot experience at all? Is there? Yes. Is there now? Yes. <laughs> what is that which cannot experience? Ob uh, the visible object. Uh, visible right. object. That which is seen. Does it arise? It is what is seen. If it does not arise, can it be seen right now? No. So the arising and falling way of realities are hidden all the time, unknown all the time, until we just talk about a reality. And there should be the understanding of that quality that reality as it is, in order to understand that actually it's not me or mine at all. For example, we talk about seeing right now, because there is seeing. It has a reason by conditions. Who makes it arise? See? But no one knows anything about it, that it just arises in a moment to see. This is the word of the Buddha. Seeing arise to see by conditions. If there is no previous karma deeds that has been done in the past, there will be no condition for seeing to arise. The table or the tree, grass, does not have any karma, so no condition for seeing to arise. So seeing does not belong to anyone at all. It's just the result of a gamma which has been done, which cannot be known because it arises and falls away in split seconds. So what gamma is not known? We never know. Never be known at all. But can, what it is, can, what that can be known is that it conditioned, it is conditioned by a gamma, one condition. But there must be other conditions too, like now. There is not just visible object which is seen. There is seeing which experience, which knows what is there now, which is seen. And there must be the I. See, everyone knows about the I. Who doesn't have the I? The blind one doesn't have the I sense or the I base. It has, uh, he or she might have only the shape of I, but no reality which can contact with the visible object for seeing to arise and see. In order to understand that why it's not self, it's not just remember, seeing is not self, hearing is not self, the eye is not self, but it has to be understanding the reality which cannot be taken for self at all, even the eye. It arises when time comes after birth, by karma again. So no body at all in any world can condition the eye to arise. No one can make it arise. But it is arisen from conditions, no matter when and where. Even right now, we say that no self, because the eye itself cannot be anyone at all. 
is conditioned just to be that which can contact with the visible object. It cannot contact with the other thing like sound or smell or anything at all. So that a moment is forgotten all the time when it's conditioned to arise and perform the function of that which contact with the eye and the seeing sees and the object which is seen is here and now. But from ignorance, out of ignorance, the rapidity of the succession of that which arises and falls away so very rapidly, no one can imagine how fast it is. As much as we can know is the ability of a magician who can play magic, but it's not as that which now arising and falling away quicker, more rapid than a magician can do. See? So from understanding each reality one at a time, clearly and clearer, it will condition the understanding of no self because the idea of self has been accumulated from years and years ago. No matter how much Buddha thought about eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and loba attachment to aversion and whatever happens in one's life is just passed on hearing considering for a moment and then it's gone because of the accumulation of ignorance in the past a condition for anything to arise rather than the understanding of what is heard that's why it needs more and more hearing no matter when and where it can be a moment of reminding about seeing now. See, if one hasn't understood the hearing before, even it said, seeing now, no meaning at all, seeing now. But when there is the understanding from hearing, the word seeing now can remind or be conditioned for understanding seeing, which is very, very difficult to realize the true nature of it. Because there is seeing, no awareness, because understanding is not enough to just developing the understanding of that which now sees as that which sees. Only that which sees. It takes quite a long time not just to remember in Pali or any language, but the quality, the characteristic which sees has arisen by conditions and gone completely. And it arises each day, each life, no understanding until there will be moment of hearing the teachings of the Buddha which condition a little understanding until it is not forgotten. And who knows or what time is moment when it's not forgotten. See, another level of understanding, because this level from hearing the words about reality right now is only the intellectual understanding, understanding the meaning, the word about reality and begin to see, to understand it. Seeing is not permanent and it cannot be just one single seeing at this very moment because it's gone. In succession so very rapidly, what is left at moment of what is seen now is people and things, shape and form. But the reality which arises and falls away, how much more rapid it is because as soon as one sees or opens one's eyes, it's that people and thing. So nobody can imagine how many realities have arisen and fallen away by conditions in order to know that even those moments are not self. As those moments are not self, this moment cannot be self. Seeing is a moment of seeing. No one there. Nobody is seen. Only that which is visible. 
that can be seen. And thinking follows very soon. Who knows that after seeing has fallen away, there are three moments after seeing and then ignorance and ankusla, unwholesome realities are there by conditions. That's why it needs the words of the Buddha, not only this life, any life, to consider again and again until Panya develops stage by stage, but it doesn't take uh, just a few moments. We cannot imagine how many lives, but as soon as another level of understanding begins, it Panya there, it is Panya there which knows. It is another level, because we are talking about seeing, but no understanding of seeing. But at that very moment, there is the beginning of understanding seeing, like this is a cup, but that is seeing. Ajahn, I'm very ignorant now. Everyone. Um, is there, is there so mean, um, now about the condition? So uh, with elements, uh, what um, create we, we the elements? One word no. at a time, in order to really understand the word of the enlightened one, which is not easy to get or to understand. So we learn just one word at a time. So what word would you like now? Uh, uh, condition. Condition. Uh, what, when we talk about that which appears now, it means that it has arisen, right? No one makes it to arise, right? So how can it arise? It cannot arise by itself. This is what nobody knew. Only the Buddha knew that whatever arises must have conditions for its arising. That's why he taught from the very beginning to the end. And it's compared as the Abhidhamma, Vitika, and the conditions are the last book on it. Because if there is no understanding of whatever appears now yet, how can there be the understanding of conditions which condition it? Not only one condition. So we just learn to think about now. Without the eye, can there be seeing? Uh, without eye? No, I, the eye. The eye. Um, no seeing. There's no seeing. So when there is eye, the eye can be conditioned for seeing at moment of seeing only. Only one? Only more one. than that? And who knows that at the moment of seeing, that which experiences visible object now, there must be seven mental factors, jetasika, arising with it. Who knows? And these seven jetasikas are conditioned for seeing too. So we cannot understand what a, a condition, what moment, but there must be conditions. And then later on we learn little by little to understand better. So it is clear and clear that there is no self, no one, no thing at all. Can the I itself know? that it conditions see. Can, you, uh, can the eye itself know that it conditions see? Mm, no, no. No. Why? It has to be one's own understanding because that is the gift from the enlightened one. His words condition that which is hidden from ignorance gradually begin to have less ignorance because of more understanding. The most important is understanding, not uh, remembering uh, things or events. Or... I think that it's time to...